Well, according to my comments, the black pine or pines in general are a very popular subject. Uh, actually, I was looking at the uh, amount of people watching, and every time there is a pine, there's a big jump in uh, people that's watching. So I thought I better uh, show some more. Well, this today I'm working on something that is fairly young. And then you see that pink tag? That one means that we did this thing uh, earlier this year. Uh, it looks like I did the string on it and things like that. And the other two, I don't remember if I ever showed you those or not, but I thought we go ahead and work on these. Uh, it's going to be a very short chapter, but you're not going to have a whole lot of stuff to do today. Uh, according to the tag, uh, this was done in January, early part of January, and we're at the tail end of March. So it has only been a, a few months, and like I was saying, not much to do. Before getting started, uh, let's take time to study this tree. You see this candle, the center candle? See, down here, it's longer than up there which is good. We're trying to look for the balance of the energy in the tree, and we could tell by the center candle. Well, the pine tend to be top growers, so if you're not careful, you get all this vigorous stuff on top and less vigor down here. That's not a good, good thing. But having it fairly strong on the bottom and then not so much on top is not a bad deal because naturally these areas grow uh, much faster and more vigorous. So what we do is this time of the year we remove the center candle completely. Okay. And then if there is a secondary, then what we do is we break it so that it becomes shorter. Now this one did not have the secondary yet, so we can't do anything, right? So uh, this one, if we remove this, the secondary will pop. Or we could wait until the, it pops and then remove it. So. Uh, one of the uh, stop gap will be doing something like this, right? <laughs> We're done. Uh, now we just wait. See? There's a lot of waiting game in the uh, pine. It's got a good classical shape, right? Informal, upright. Nice movement. Taper is work, it's getting there, but it's not distinct, but it's not reversed. Okay, so once again, let's check the candles. The candle here, candle here, and candle up here. They're about the same size. So that's good that the energy is balanced. So on this, we just take the center candle and what we're going to do is wait a little bit and then break the candle, the secondary one. So 99% uh, of the time you want to remove the center candle. Isn't that exciting? That's done. Uh, this one here, I, I was looking at some of the work they had on the magazine and they took a very young plant and wired it and did this really tight turn. Um, I tried it and I'm not sure. I mean, now it's got reverse taper uh, and branches in the wrong place and everything else. So. I don't have a lot of hope for this guy. But then a lot of times, well, sometimes, uh, you'll end up becoming something great in the future. But uh, 
I did try that um, wire in the early stage technique and I'm at this point not happy with it. What I'm going to do is just remove these center candles and then stick it back in and one hopefully one day it will surprise me. Uh, those of you that's been following me a long time, my ugly duckling started out that way. I said, God, this one has no future. And then it turned out to be one of the nicest ones. Of course, you can't see it anymore because it got sold. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe I should wire, not wire, but pull these down. Ah, forget it. I'm just going to let this just grow and see what happens. But this one, on this one here, um, you notice that I took the string and pulled this down. I, I want that angle uh, so that it looks more like a mature tree. And that way I could solve a lot of the problem before it happens. But one thing that uh, is interesting about pines, you see this candle? Remember it used to be sticking up before I pulled it down, right? Now that I got this uh, pulled down, these are pointing in funny direction. But what's going to happen real soon is they'll stand up again. One thing about the pines, the candles will always stand up whenever, whatever you do to the branch. It doesn't matter, you'll stand up. On this one, uh, I guess I should have pointed it out before we got around to pruning the but we, we did this pulling down uh, in January, and then the candles were sticking up. So that, those are things that are uh, common to uh, the pines. So no matter what you do, the new candles will always stand up. Right. <laughs> this is another really short chapter, but uh, that's what we do around here. A lot of the work we do is very uh, short or very simple so we just do it and not worry too much about it but those are the necessary steps and so I'm taking the time to kind of backtracking and uh, telling you what I've been doing that you haven't seen me do if that makes sense to you but anyway uh, so this has been uh, three pines um, they're probably about five or six years old. Uh, oh, that's another thing that I want to talk to you about. See here, it's almost looking like a bark, right? They say that it takes seven years for it to form bark. So I bet you by next year, uh, it will have a distinct bark. That means that this is probably six years old. Well, anyway, this was a... A quick chapter, but I think necessary, uh, especially if people wanting to get started. So anyway, I'll, I'll put these back, and then if they're still around, I'll show you what we do next. Well, I have them all labeled now, so hopefully I could remember. Anyway, this is Hero saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon in another chapter. This was a uh, very quick trimming of a Japanese black pine in training between four and six years old.